here from expatsportugal.com with the Good Morning Portugal show. Just me and the builders. And soon on the screen, Cindy B will be joining us. But let me just um, detail for you what's going to be going on on the show today. Cindy B is here to talk about a new part of our platform on the forum um, where we're creating a little bit of a living room, as Cindy B puts it, which is a great description, a way of making friends when you're new to Portugal. New country, new friends. We'll also be visiting London and Little Portugal. Were you aware of Little Portugal, a part of Southwest Nine, the postal district of, of London, where many Portuguese people um, live and have created a community there? And thanks to Midlife Crisis for some fantastic shots of all the shop fronts and restaurants and little bits of uh, paraf Portuguese paraphernalia from the neighborhood there. Yes, you can hear the sounds of building work going on in this rather fine part of Lisbon from where I am broadcasting, Beato Marvila. It's an incredible neighborhood, it really is. It's one to watch. It's between the Parque de la Soich and the uh, downtown part of Lisbon, the more familiar part uh, for people and tourists. And it's incredible. I've been walking around, taking photographs. I will share some of those with you and tell you a little bit more about Beato and uh, Marvila a little bit later on in the show. But first of all, let's say hello to a few people in the company of Cindy B, who's joining me this morning, live from Caldash Terenya. How are you, Cindy? Good morning, Carl. <laughs> Oh, it's so good, so good to have you here. Thank you for joining me at such short notice. How are you today? Oh, very, very good. I'm loving Kalbash. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're on you're on your scouting tour, as you put it, of Portugal. Let's let's put everybody in the picture before we go and say hello to them. Um, you're on a little bit of a tour, deciding where you want to live in Portugal. Is that right? That's correct. That's correct. And uh, after Lisbon, Kalbash was my first stop. Oh, excellent. And this whole process of finding somewhere to live in Portugal is not as easy as it sounds, is it? No, it isn't. I don't have um, very, very narrow criteria like some people do, which yeah. um, just makes it that much more challenging. You know, in, the entire country is is pretty much open. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because if, if people are coming and they've got to be near work or they've got to be near a school, that really narrows mm -hmm. things down. You can say, I, you know, I need to be by the coast or, or I want a country life. But for, for those of us who've got a much more open palette, it's I mean, you know, it's a great problem to have, isn't it? Let's face it. It It, it is indeed. It is indeed. And um but, you know, things start firming up, you know, you start looking at the infrastructure of an area and, um, and, and what it offers and infrastructures, not just the stores, infrastructure um, are the people as well. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And the vibration. Right. And there's something about yes. Caldash. You know, I, I noticed that American people are drawn to Caldash. Do you know why mm -hmm. that might be? Um, I, I think there certainly there's a vibe here, but uh, there's also a very active uh, expat community as well as uh, the Portuguese are extremely involved in community life here. And um, that that actually can be a magnet, I think, you know, to yes. I, it certainly was for me to draw me in. Yeah, well, something something's going on there for sure. Where have you come from? Let, let's let's find out more about you. Where have you come from in the United States? Most recently, Texas. I was born and raised there. I lived several years in the Pacific Northwest, and so um, yeah, that's. I'm kind of looking for that Northwesty vibe, and certainly to get out of Texas right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, you, some people will know you as Cindy B. I think from our forum. Is that right? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, excellent. So if you're thinking, oh, okay, yes, that's Cindy B. Here she is on the Good Morning Portugal show this morning with a fabulous idea that we've been working on. But before we talk about that, let's say hello to a few people. Let's uh, introduce you and them to you, a few of this wonderful community here. Andrea Hogan was here at half past eight, would you believe, this morning. Uh, her and Tom Bondia, good morning. And a very lovely comment from uh, from um, Tom as well. Um, Bondia, good morning all. Best, oh, sorry, sorry, waiting for the best way to start a day. Good morning, Portugal. Isn't that lovely? And honestly, if this um, noise, if this building noise in the where they almost, it feels like they're going to come through any minute and appear live on the Good Morning Portugal show from the wall behind me is too much. And you need me to mute my microphone, everybody, between um, questions and do let me know. But this is the excitement of Beato, uh, actually live and direct now as they're actively gentrifying the area. Um, so Andrea shouting out Carl and Hank is shouting out Andrea and Carl. And this is what they do, uh, Cindy. Uh, every morning here on the Good yes. Morning Portugal Show. Hank also practices his Portuguese. Hola, bom dia. Todos from a sunny California. How's your Portuguese coming along, Cindy? Oh, pequeno. <laughs> good. That's not bad. <laughs> bom dia from Stephen Wells as well. And Francis um, facing the journey, the migration journey here. Bom dia, alegria a todos. And I mean everyone. Uh, f filling in last papers for South African documents. I'll need to start the process of getting my wife and kids onto Portugal citizenship. Baby steps, yeah. Step at a time, Francis. All the best with that, my friend. And uh, yeah, people shouting out to each other in the comments as they do. And Deagle McKillen is also here from a very grey. I've added a very there. Um, if it's anything like um, Lisbon this morning, we have had a storm working its way up the country. Uh, how's your weather in Caldas this morning? Has a storm reached you there? Uh, we got rain yesterday, but we're overcast, uh, but dry at, at the moment, at the moment. Not too bad. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Thunderduck's also with me in Lisbon. Not literally, but we'll, we'll meet up soon, Thunderduck. Uh, rainy Lisbon uh, for, for you. Same as mine, funnily enough. Uh, Mike Campion. Bon dia, alegria. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Jim White over there in Baltimore. Bon dia to you. And Jim White, of course, uh, a regular on the Spiritual Portugal Show. And that's where we also know you from, Cindy B. Thank you so much for joining us there. And uh, we had a permaculture man on, didn't we, last week? And I discovered whilst chatting with you before the show, you're a permaculture teacher as well. How exciting is that? <laughs> it's my love. It's one of my first loves. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, you know, for, for a lot of people, they, it's it's a real yes, eureka moment, isn't it, to discover permaculture? And, you know, they it, might have been. It truly in, is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, or, or tell us a little bit about, about your conversion then. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's uh, for me, it was a lifestyle change. It was truly a lifestyle change. Um, I was a back to the land hippie, you know, in the in the 70s, um, stepped out of that into a corporate life. And then I retired early and felt the draw to go back to that. And of course, permaculture had happened in the interim period of time. And it was like, oh, I've come home. And the interesting thing is I did enterprise wide um software installations as a career never wow. in a million years would i have dreamed that permaculture and that would come together but it's both of them are full systems um, yes living indeed. and so yes permaculture is a kind of software isn't it indeed it is indeed it yes. is yes yes when you is. when you really look at it and analyze it yeah yeah, for happy people and a happy planet. Absolutely brilliant. So we hope to talk to you about that on a different occasion. I mean, there will, will be some people here saying, permaculture, what's that? Um, and we will answer that question, if not this morning, then on another occasion, which I look forward to. Uh, Dominique Core is here. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Dominique. How are you? Jean Hearn also. Also on the Silver Coast. Uh, bon dia. Rainy Silver Coast from Jean and Sharon. There. Good morning to you both. Uh, very popular, the Silver Coast, isn't it? Bon dia. A light rain has hit the East Algarve this morning. Thank you for your photograph of your sunset, uh, Anna, which will show what we like to do on the show here is if you send us your sunrises and sunsets, we like to open with a sunrise from time to time. And we like to finish the show with a sunset. And we'll do that with uh, Anna's photo that she sent me a little later on. And I'll also give you the number to do that. You can WhatsApp me, anything like that. And also positive comments and feedback. Negative ones. I don't know. What do we do with those? We'll put them in the compost, shall we, Cindy? <laughs> there you go. The worm farm. Mm -hmm. 
a warm farm where they can ferment and and become happier and and, and add to the culture. Yes, hola, bon dia, Toro from Jersey P as well over there in the states. Paul Richards, greetings from Harrogate, thirteen degrees. Oh my goodness, it is certainly becoming autumn in the UK. Not a lot you can say about that. Roll on Portugal, he says, and a, a special hello for you from Dominique there. Hi, Cindy, and. Um, we have a greetings from Jacqueline CDM, also on the Silver Coast. Hola, bon dia. Atorosh. Um, what's this? Oh, my gosh. Cindy. <laughs> Actually, let me do that again. <laughs> it's more like, oh, my gosh. Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's, a war- that's a warm welcome, isn't it, from Hank there? And, uh, if- <laughs> I feel again. initiated. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, you know you've arrived on the Good Morning Portugal show when that happens. Um, Hi, Cindy. (laughs) Nice to see you again from Jean and Sharon. So, folks that you know there, I think. uh, Sandra Marks, uh, bon dia, Torosh. My dear and sweet client. Well, that's got to be for you as well, isn't it? From Gilda Pereira. Good morning, Gilda. See you later on. Uh, Veronica ferguson Perez. What's the name of the area town you're talking about? Sorry, I missed it. I'll let you do that, Cindy. Uh, Caldas Jolaina. Okay, there you go. The epicenter for quite a few American expats at the moment. And an, actually, a, a stunning town. Um, you've got the lovely park there, haven't you? The Dom Carlos Park, uh, which I like to think is named after me, but it obviously isn't, uh, with the amazing art gallery inside it. And I I think of Kaldash as, as a uh, mysterious maiden, because when you, when you arrive there and drive through it for the first time, you don't get to know everything about her, do you? She reveals herself to you slowly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So very well, well put. I, of course, I am not driving. I'm a foot, but you'll turn a car- corner and go, oh, well, I didn't know that was there. You know, even after three days of wandering all over town. So, yeah, um, it's full of surprises. Yeah, there you go. Uh, then we can maybe add that as a strap line for Caldas Jorinha, yeah, uh, full of surprises. <laughs> uh, if you know that in Portuguese, let us know. Um, amen to escaping Texas. <laughs> Agreeing with that sentiment there, uh, says Hank. Hola, bon dia, alegria. Shower here in Penascozo today. But so far, not the heavy thunderstorms forecast. Our area is very rural, and that is great, and such lovely people. So that's good to know if you're looking for a rural. I, I mean, really, I drove through there the other weekend. And I'm th- I'm thinking Wild West. I mean, there are some rural parts of Portugal, and then there's deep rural outback. And I think Penish Gozo is part of that. Not far from wonderful Abrantish there. Uh, Ian Leo also with us yeah. as well this morning. Bon dia, first post. Thank you, Leo. Great to have your company here. Keep them coming, my friend. Uh, Margarita Lopez, bon dia as well. And from Oxford in the UK, just packing the van in the rain on the way to Portugal. Fantastic. Look at this, Thunder Ducks making himself known to you, Cindy. Max G on the forum. Now, it's a funny age we live in, isn't it, where we're operating under all these different names. And, you you know, it's for me here, I can be thinking I'm talking to three different people and they're actually the same person <laughs> manifesting in different varieties across the, the Internet. Um, but there you go. So there's Max G. That's what Thunder Duck. And, you, you know, that's not his, that, those either of those aren't his real name, are they? He could walk up to you in the street and say, hello, I'm Malcolm. Malcolm, yes, also known as Thunder, also known as Max. Also known as etc. etc. Um, these are the times we're in. Uh, oh, look at this. A new member uh, became a YouTube member. Did Hank Stalica. Thank you so much. It means a great deal to us, Hank Stalica, for people to distinguish themselves in this way. Exclusive com- content and comment coming your way. Oh, I'm loving Cindy more and more. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> all, you, all you had to do was appear, and he's loving you more and more. That's fantastic. <laughs> Martin, oh, cool to see Cindy on the air. Love Pacific Northwest in USA. If Cal Dash is similar, that's very appealing, says Marty. Good to see you, Marty, this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, Barbara, bon dia from sunny Silesia. Hello, Barbara. How are you over there in Poland? And Cindy, we have warm, sunny days in the Algarve, plus the highest expat population <laughs> in portugal and it never misses a chance to promote the algarve dear paul and he's very frustrated obviously being stuck in in yorkshire at the moment um not a bad place to be but not as good as the algarve hey, paul uh, hola bon dia from capricorn 12 hello capricorn how are you and rebel mama is here hola bon dia exciting mountain life thunderstorm knocked out the electricity last night so dinner by candlelight sunny skies this morning it, it sounds like um 
you know, constant plot twists in that part of uh, northern Portugal. There, have you been? Have you so you, Lisbon and Caldas so far? Anywhere else, or uh, has your search kind of come to a little bit of a, a halt, um, having discovered <laughs> Caldas? It, it actually has. I got here and I thought, you know, I want to spend a little bit more time. So I extended four more nights and uh, I'll see after that. I was headed to Porto and then down to the Algarve. And um, so those those were the stops, um, you know, on, on this trip, on this trip. Oh, that's good. On this trip, she says, um, uh, heralding many more. Uh, by the sound of it. Uh, when we got off the train in Caldesh as Jacqueline CDM for the first time, it's just a visit from Kashkaish. I remember walking into the high street where all the beautiful flower boxes are. I just got this wonderful vibe, positive energies, and thought to myself, I've just got to live here. Two years after that, we were settled in and love it. How about that? Don't you love to hear a story like that? That's fantastic. And and many people wish it was that easy. <laughs> as well, I think. <laughs> Maybe you need a little bit of intuition training um, from Jacqueline CDM, which might be something she does. I don't know. Um, we are so happy that you did. Um, that is that to, to, I don't know who that's to. Tell us more, Dominique. Um, Robert Vinkel, also born dear from American Expat in Provence, France. Lovely to hear that somebody else in another um, expat destination, namely Provence, uh, France, there is tuning in from time to time. That's you, Robert. Thank you very much for doing so. Liao Liu. A Chinese plans to move to Portugal in the future. That sounds like the beginning of a joke to me, doesn't it? Uh, a Chinese plans to move to Portugal in the future. And then you fill in the punchline thereafter, Liao Liu. But I'm sure that's a true story as well. So good morning to you, uh, Liao Liu. Great to hear from you. Thanks for saying hi. Bon dia from Messing Algarve, says Cheryl Smith this morning. Good morning to you. And uh, Liao Liu. Uh, is saying I keep on watching your videos. Well, keep it up and do ask any questions if we can help you in any way. Uh, Lao Liu, do, do, do just ask. That's what we're here for. Uh, Francis, did you see the sunrise elephant pic I sent, Carl? Um, yes, I did. And it sounds as though that's one that got buried um, through no fault of yours, Francis. So I will look to um, find that. Actually, I'm going to do that in just a moment. Uh, put two negative comments together and get a positive one. Yes, that's what we'll do. <laughs> We've got to make sure they don't breed. That's the last thing we want is contagion. Um, but hopefully, yes, they can just become positive together in a quiet corner and live happily ever after. Uh, good morning, Gilda from Jim White. And um, yeah, Hank Stalica, love that. Absolutely love that. Thank you, Hank. And um, bon dia, Dom Carlos. <laughs> So, yes, I, I, I like that. I, that'll work, Frank. Thank you very much. So, bon dia, Dom Colosh, and the Good Morning Portugal community. Um, Cindy, if you're going to the Algarve, you must uh, call in on Frank. Um, I'm sure you two will have a ball alongside uh, Rachel as well, um, Frank's missus, and you'll have a great time down there with some lovely hospitality from those two. Uh, Lisa Dixon Gray, so you can live in Caldash without a car. Can you talk about public transport? Well, should, should we do that for a moment, Cindy? Can you do that for us? Uh Certainly. Um, I'm obviously I've just been here a few days. Um, um, the downtown is extremely walkable and there are um, a number of uh, apartment buildings here downtown. There are I believe there are three bus lines, um, metropolitan bus lines. Um, <clears throat> that's called Toma, T-O-M-A. Um, I don't have the link available, but you can go online and, um, you know, and research that. I found it a bit frustrating in that the maps that are online, <clears throat> my throat's missing up this morning, um, you one, are... Um, <laughs> you need a Dr. Bayard. Uh, we talked about <laughs> these issues. If only I could transmogrify one of these over to you by the wonders of technology. But that's the classic Portuguese cough tweet. Do, if we can get sponsorship from Dr. Bayard, that would be wonderful for all our guests. <laughs> A little bowl of cough sweets. Look at those people struggling there on the on the packet. A couple of these sweets and they're good to go again. Sorry, Cindy, I just thought you needed to know about those. I will stop by the pharmacy today and pick up a package of those. Um, but the um, the Toma maps are a, a satellite uh, that someone has drawn the line on. You you can't read the straight the street names, so they are virtually unusable for a new person. And I thought, oh. you know, if I move here, the first thing I'm going to do is to, um, you know, redo that map <laughs> just for, for my use. Um, so if yeah. you're looking 
to come here without a car, which I, uh, I'm certainly doing, um, I would say, yeah, it's probably doable. I have been warned that uh, Uber is not a big thing here. And um, the tax, okay, I'm not going to talk about the taxi drivers. We, we just won't go there. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, well, I, now I want to go there with you saying that. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've, I've had the most incredible and, and great experiences with taxi drivers in Portugal. Have you not? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, and that was my my initial um, entree to the, the city was trying to get with luggage, you know, from the train station up to the hotel. And it's not that far. It's just, you know, rolling something over the cobblestones and, and all of that. So I thought, well, I'll get a taxi. It's, it's OK. Um, Walk down to the ta finally find the taxi stand there. You you're not on the street hailing them. You've got to place yourself in the taxi stand, and um, waited probably half an hour. There wow. were easily eight people waiting for a taxi when the the tax one uh, two taxis finally uh, arrived, and um, he wanted to take me roundabout. I had. You know, Google Maps, I knew where I was going. Um, it was an eight euro ride for about six blocks when it was all over. So, oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Shame on you, sir, who, for who did that and, and soured, <laughs> soured Sydney B's experience in that way. I've got, a number, I've got a number for you of a taxi driver in, in Kaldash. And these are some of the most amazing people I've met wherever I've lived in Portugal. I've, uh, and often we haven't used, uh, we haven't had our own car. We've, we've, yes. we've used a rental um, as the Americans say. I've been told off for saying hire car. You don't hire cars, you hire people in America. Um, but um, we, I, I've always made sure I've got the number of a friendly taxi driver. Um, and you can call them and they'll come and get you. And, and so that makes that a lot easier. But I can see how that would have been quite a stressful experience. And I'm sorry to hear that. So, um, yeah, uh, better luck in the future with them. And, and I have a number for you. Um, oh, so, Hank, saying better, uh, actually, Lisa, I hope that answers your question. Um, so, uh, Cindy is going to be redrawing the public transport map on a right when she goes to live there. And, she's gonna, and we're going to ha have a mediation session between her and the local taxi drivers, I think, is to put that. To, to have some reconciliation there fantastic um hank is saying um best forum on the internet deserves support thank you very much hank and that's why he became a member you can all uh do that if you wish uh, that's fantastic um frank is saying oh look at this a bit of controversy for us this morning cindy caldash shaldash it's just a movie trailer before the feature presentation called the Algar comes along that's not helping frank really you know and this is what happens in portugal is that you find a place you love and then People are trying to turn you, or you actually get turned yourself by just visiting somewhere else. It is, it's the, the, the peril is real. Um, Thunder also saying Keldush is very charming. The fruit and veg market is fantastic. And that is the Prasa de Frutas, isn't it? In, in, the, in the center of town, that, that is the most obvious and iconic part of Keldush, I would say, after the park or including the park, which is not far away from there. Um, it is an amazing market, absolutely beautiful to see, and daily as well. Um, bon dia, Cindy. Bon dia, Carl from Pam, our very own uh, Pam Smith uh, of our Ask Our Expats team. Um, it was to Jacqueline. Okay, uh, Dominique Cor is glad that Jacqueline moved to Caldash as well. Um, who else is here this morning? A few more comments, and then we'll go to this big idea that we've got, Cindy, that you've been so important um, a part of. Uh, bon dia, lovely to see you again, says Yvonne Anna. Regards from a Brazilian who is an expat in Sydney and is planning to join you soon. Cindy is such an inspiring lady. Wonderful vibes on air. Totally agree. Uh, I want to know how to make more friends as the new expats well it's funny you should ask that today we will come back to this uh, which place do you recommend for the economy reason and warm climate okay well for for an economic move um uh, good value i think that's what you're getting at there liao liu go to central portugal go to castelo branco lovely and warm there and very good value as far as property goes and the great quality of life would be straight off the top of my head there for you. Um, Frank, you'll always be the, the person people first shout, started shouting at in a good way. Frank's probably used to that. Has that been always the case in your life? <laughs> people have shouted Frank to you. He was the man who started all of that. Uh, my friend planned to move to France 
I told her about the Algarve, says Capricorn 12. Three years later, she has an apartment in, oh, I don't know what ADP stands for, but it's in the Algarve, isn't it? And has a meeting today to look at houses. Uh, Cindy B, visit the Western Algarve. It's great. You see, people are trying to influence you, aren't they? <laughs> they're, they're so naughty. Um, Elra Linda, Dr. Bayard is indispensable. <laughs> I always look. And the lovely packet. You don't want to be sat near somebody in the cinema who's who's got a sore throat in Portugal, because that's what you're going to hear. <laughs> stop coughing and stop rustling that packet of Dr. Bayard. <laughs> Khadija's here uh, again with a comment. I have had a wonderful taxi and Uber drivers, although my daughter took one from Orient Station in Lisboa and it cost 20. Yeah, there are some rascals and scoundrels yeah. about. I should have warned her uh, what it should have cost there. Well, hopefully that was a nice trip around the houses and it was worth the 20 euros. Morning, everyone. Warm welcome to Cindy from Jerry, our man Jerry, the latest member of our team. Look at that, Cindy. And um, Solo 50 Plus, expat Portugal, Louise. Hey, Cindy B, just joined. So it might be up and running. We need that link, don't we? Uh, Jerry, Louise. <laughs> Frank! <laughs> on, on they go. Just kidding, Cindy. Just kidding. Seriously now from Frank. I'm sure Cal Dush is wonderful. He doesn't mean that, does he? He actually no, wants... he doesn't. He doesn't mean that one bit. We, we can see right through that, Frank. <laughs> I can't wait. 100 days and I spent Christmas time in Portugal for the first time. Fantastic. Um, the first time, in, yes, and warm climate as well. A warm climate Christmas. Where are you going to be, Barbara? Are you actually going to have Christmas on the beach, maybe? Uh, Jackie Polly, my guest on Thursday and her story about moving to Portugal. Looking forward to talking to you on Thursday, Jackie. Bon dia. Lovely to hear about Caldas Serena, Cindy. And um, midlife crisis. Uh, bon dia. Isn't the Algarve just Portugal cosplay? Well, that's an interesting way of looking at it. And I think there's some truth. I think there's a little bit of truth in that uh, midlife crisis. Whose photographs we're going to show. Thank you for your SW9 uh, photo documentary that we will share uh, later on in the show. Thank you very much, <laughs> Jerry. Astrid! <laughs> Jerry's getting into it as well. <laughs> That's for the and, 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 and for now, look at this. Half past nine, Cindy, and we've not even got onto the this, this subject matter yet. But we've had a great time. <laughs> Uh, it's a great day. Yeah. We're leaving the airport. If you cross two bridges to arrive at the city centre, I'm sorry to say you've been scammed. Watch out for those bridges. <laughs> I just I, I meant to join the show. What link? I'm getting serious FOMO here. You will. You're an, you're an important part of what we're about to talk about. So stay on the edge of your seat, there, Louise. Um, warm climate in Portugal is everywhere to Polish people. That's true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Midlife crisis, well taught, the best. Um, Peter Bleach, what a beautiful storm it was last night. This morning does resemble a scene from the fog, though. Plastic furniture laying laying prone in the garden, uh, perhaps in Castilla Branca there. And I, I keep saying, and finally, yeah, what the hell? Algarve rules. Come on, Cindy, we'll have a drink with a second, Peggy, and turn you into an Algarve. We knew he didn't mean it, didn't we? We saw straight through that. Frank, what are you like? Okay. It feels like we're all friends. It feels like we're all friends already. Here, yeah, and that's what we're talking about. Um, we are creating a new space within our forum um, where where people can make friends in a safe and fun way. Cindy, what were you? What, what, I was going to say, what were you thinking? I don't mean it quite like that. What's what's what, what's behind your part of this? And then how do you see this project shaping up? <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's been a couple of times in the last week. I went, what was I thinking? Um, <laughs> um, it started out very innocently, as most things do. Um, I discovered that obviously I'm not alone as um, as a solo person moving to Portugal, and I've been blown away by the support for you know, people um, who are coming to Portugal. Um, but I'm thinking that solos are um, kind of a breed apart. You know, we are, by and large, we're coming here without a part, certainly without a partner, uh, probably without family and uh, probably without friends. <clears throat> so we're, I mean, talk about taking a leap of faith, you know, that's pretty much what we're doing. And so my thought was, let's create a vehicle 
for the solos for us you know to uh, to get together it's not a dating site i wasn't interested in a dating that's not to say i'm not interested in dating okay that, i'm not saying that i just didn't want to put together the site so um so that's pretty much what it started with and as um jerry and i started talking it it morphed into something really beautiful becoming um a friendship uh, place on on the forum itself and so that's um that's actually the the core of of where it started as um, a safe place for people to come together to have a conversation to get to know one another perfect perfect and and the atmosphere we had a little bit of a chat about it whilst we were hanging out before the show and you you described it as a living room so that's the vibe and atmosphere you're looking for right Exactly. That was um, as I as I started thinking through this, I thought, ah, oh, this is the expats Portugal living room. This is our living room with a bulletin board. Or I thought maybe the quad. Um, most of us remember the quad from college. I mean, what a cool gathering place that was. And so that's but you've got to have a key to the door. You know, I mean, you've either got to have that student card or you've got to have a key to the front door. And so that's <laughs> Part of this is where the forum itself is a public space and is crammed full of uh, conversations and information uh, and, and people to connect. The living room, and I'm just calling it that for right now, um, is a place for uh, a more meaningful, maybe a more intimate conversation where we really get to know each other, um, where you can you know, start, okay, who wants a poker night? Um, who wants to go paddleboarding? Who paddleboards? Who kayaks? Um, does someone want to put together a, a reading group? Um, I, you know, I there's little bits of information that I know um, about our regulars, um, but I'd really love to know more, you know, uh, about other people. And I'm thinking, you know, there's, I'm not I'm not the only person, you know, that that would like to do that. So it's um it's a safe space. It's our living room, if you will. <laughs> I, do, I do absolutely love that. And um, if you want to get crack a in with this, it's expatsportugal.com forward slash community is the way to get to the forum. Uh, well, actually, no, we ha we're not there yet. This is a little bit of a teaser this morning. But the thing to do, <laughs> I would suggest, is to friend Cindy up if you, if you like what's being said this morning. Um, that's your that's your username on the forum and that forward slash community is the forum and we will have an exclusive area for, for exactly what cindy was just talking about uh, louise said i talked about exactly this in my last video there's loads of us and yet people think we are unique so let's just cover that for a moment after we've acknowledged what andy's saying who's also my guest we've got jackie ann austin uh, with with moving to portugal stories uh, on thursday so andy and jackie see you there what a wonderfully infectious personality cindy has uh, he's actually this is andy using his son's i think it's his son's facebook oh. profile he could be getting his son into all sorts of trouble, and I hope he is. Uh, mad respect for the solos. Very brave people. Mad, mad respect. So a lot of love for you there from Hank. Mm -hmm. And Louise, yes, yeah, saying this is what she uh, has been talking about in her last video. Um, we're going to talk about this more in just a moment. Cindy, can you say vehicle again? Sorry, but I love it in an American accent. And uh, Louise's video was absolutely great, he says. So would you mind just saying uh, vehicle again? Vehicle? <laughs> No, you didn't say it like that last time. You'll have to watch the replay to see an unguarded yeah, and uns yeah. <laughs> vehicle, I think. It's, it was something like that anyway. It's a bit like, you know, rental and hire, vehicle and vehicle. But I, I, I can't say it in an American way. Anyway, so yes, uh, and this is also something you and I talked about before. From your own perspective, it's a solo journey. But there is an increasing number of people considering moving in this way it would seem this is a this is a growing demographic as marketers might say would you agree i i would certainly agree and i was again i was shocked at the number of us um and I, i'm thinking 
um, you know, putting something like this together for those who are solo and thinking, oh my God, do I want to jump off of this cliff? Uh, maybe we're the soft landing for them, you know, yeah. or uh, at least the parachute, you know, um, that come join us for heaven's sakes. You know, the water is really fine here. Um, and you know, that, that support for someone, you, you think about your first Christmas here. Um, you know, your, uh, for those of us from the States, your first Thanksgiving, all of those holidays that, um, you may be sitting at home looking at the four walls and that, um, I didn't want that for me. And if there's anybody else out there, I wouldn't want that for them either. And so to be able to create, I'm all about creating community. And so that's definitely what was attractive for me about, about this initiative. Superb. Yeah. And, you know, there are, there are times when it's great to be solo, aren't there, when you're traveling, but I think it's those moments, isn't it? When you're, you're, you're kind of reminded that you're alone and you might like a bit, bit of, company or a community around you and if it's not immediately to hand like it would be at home that can be quite a lonely experience i i know certainly on the other side of it uh, you know when i'm out and about in caldash with my three kids and they're all screaming the solos are sat having a coffee in the park thinking <laughs> oh yes i'm having such a nice peaceful look at that poor guy over there <laughs> It's like, hmm, this is the life, but then yeah, then then come Thanksgiving. It's a different. It's a, yeah, those times when it's lovely to be around people, and so of course this could be the springboard for that sort of thing. Yes. Okay. Well, it's 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 receiving a as as the, as you Americans would also say an approval rating that is very high um, here this morning. Gilda is here with us this morning and is loving the idea of the living room. Uh, brilliant, says Hank. Uh, and then he upgrades that to an absolutely brilliant. The more you talked about it, the more he's loving it. Um, <laughs> Louise says it won't be everyone's cup of tea or coffee for that matter, but for us uh, solo 50 plus folk, uh, it is an important issue. Paul says, Cindy, you got the right country. Uh, Portuguese people are the friendliest people in the world. I agree with Hank. People are brave. Solo people are brave. But you won't be solo for long and make honest, genuine friends here in Portugal. Uh, and and I, I sometimes joke, you know, the first friends you make, may, using, you know, going back to college, you mentioned college, might not be the ones you end up being friends with at the end of term, metaphorically. So it's a process as well, isn't it? Um, you know, sometimes there, there is a, those expat, new expat pals you make that you can't wait to unmake um as well that's all part, that's all part of let's be honest that's part of life's rich tapestry as well isn't it um oh, <laughs> elaine godly great idea cindy says elaine good morning to you elaine lovely to have your company um it was said in a texan oh so you got to have the texan accent as well as the vehicle there you go there you go <laughs> Tom, you see, you just said that like you would say it in, a, in, in, in an ordinary, everyday way. And it's caused quite a ripple of um, appreciation throughout our community here. Experts, Who, knew? <laughs> Who knew indeed? I have a year and a divorce to go through. Uh, if I'm able to join you, sounds like a... Uh, that, this is interesting. So if people like the idea of this group, but they're, they're not solo, do they have to get divorced to join? <laughs> this is what Pete suggested. <laughs> No, the living room is for everyone. Absolutely everyone. It's it started out, you know, as a as a solo support group, but um I could quickly see, oh my gosh, we we want the whole community involved in this for goodness sakes, you know. Yeah. Really that's a very good distinction to make, isn't it? All, all are welcome and um let's talk a little bit about safety and because you you mentioned that our, you know our forum is public. Um, and then and, and you can see what goes on without being a member. But to, to comment, you need to join. And this is going to be slightly different. There, <clears throat> people will have to sign up, obviously, as you do with any forum, but they'll, they'll, they'll apply. OK, so you'll get a sense. You're, you're the moderator. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. <laughs> the power, the power of that. So, but this is important. This is important, isn't it? That, that, that you people get know that they're um, not being watched. That, that, that doesn't sound right. But being being supported and concierged, or whatever, however you might call it, there is there is an overview. Let's put it that way, so that people can feel safe, and I think that's really important. Yeah, I, and um, certainly for uh, for we solos. 
for us solos. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that's that's really, really important. Uh, but for everybody to have, um, again, meaningful conversations where you can open up. And, um, you know, I, some people in this group, I feel like I know already and can do so. Others, not so much, but that's part of getting to know someone. And, yeah. and so, again, this is the vehicle to... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, make, I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a recording of, of just you saying vehicle available separately to all the all the members of, of, of on youtube maybe <laughs> See, seriously you don't have to get a divorce to join this group so let's make that clear to everybody um having that support really helps to give people courage to do it if louise can do it if cindy can do it by golly connie and i can do it. it's a good way of looking at it hank uh, so true about the people says uh Hank, in response to Paul's comment there. Uh, Natalie Gray's here as well. I'm late this morning. Is there a group called 50 and Over Solo or something like that? Uh, well, I think you might be thinking of Louise's um, YouTube channel. So, Louise, if you say hello to Natalie here, that'd be great. I moved here solo two weeks ago. Here's another person who came solo. And there aren't many expats here in Santiago uh, del Casain. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. You sound like an, an ideal person to uh, join this new venture. And to answer, who's asking here? How do we find it? Well, you can't yet. We've got, we're a little ahead of, ahead of ourselves with a teaser, and we need to keep up the creative tension here until the technology is in place. But like I said before, if you um, if you're on the forum, uh, that's a great start. Friend up, Cindy B. Make the connection there. If you're not on our forum, you should be, and go to expatsportugal.com forward slash community. Uh, Simple men. That sounds like an interesting. Oh, that sounds like a lot like the man cave, doesn't it, simple men? Uh, Carl, I'm sure it's meant in a good way. Uh, it may be off topic, but we'll much appreciate if you could kindly address, I am British and want to get a Portuguese residency. Now after Brexit, I'm told that if I come to Portugal, and there's a cliffhanger there, we'll have to hope that, that he finishes off his sentence elsewhere in the comments. Cindy, we found such a lovely community here, says Pete. Uh, what we have loved is such a wide range of ages and interests from as young as one up to Carl's age. Oh, Peter, um, and uh, and to arrange a NIF a junta social banking. Oh, this is Simple Men's request here about um, joining or getting a Portuguese residency post Brexit. Job contracts. I could apply for five year residency. You know what, Simple Men, drop me a line, Carl at expatsportugal.com. We've got a great new service for you. Um, and or just go straight to Gilda, who's here uh, at uh, EIA uh, Migrant Assessoria. Uh, and um, you can you can get that all figured out uh, with EI, who you'll also find in our business directory. Uh, but yeah, drop me a line if you wish, simple men. It'd be interesting to find out what uh, your YouTube channel is about. Carl at expatsportugal.com. I love the living room, but no bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not out of the question, is it? But you made a, you made a very interesting <laughs> uh, distinction again uh, earlier on. You know, if you start with a dating site. It's, it creates a certain sort of atmosphere, Some, sometimes a certain sense of desperation so it's occasionally, doesn't it? But if it's more about friendship and like-mindedness and kindred spirits, then we're starting off on a different foot, aren't we? And, and, and who, who knows? You know, the best, the best relationships come from friendship in the first place, don't they? I would have thought. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That's all right. I, I think we want to start there. There's no expectation except to make a friendship in the living room. So, um, so and, and so, we can tell people to go get a room if they need to. So, yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> as, as moderator, Cindy might shout that out occasionally across the forum. Get a room, you two. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm in for making more over 50 solo friends actually i care not about age it's lovely to connect with everyone uh, says fiona so i think i is there's there is a lot of love and interest in this and uh, we will get the well it will be our pleasure we'll get you back cindy when we've actually got the um the the link to go to this and 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 um, so you can um vet everybody and again that's i'm i'm over egging the security pudding possibly there to mix my metaphors but you know there was going to be a little bit of control on it which i think is right uh, and what what better host could you wish for hostess um than cindy b here to get the party started there so i think it's going to be a lot of fun uh lol says hank i'm probably i'm thinking that's probably about jerry's comment how do we find it yep stay tuned is how you find it 
crashing the living room party and getting the party started. Yes, Frank, maybe your services might be needed um, occasionally. And, and Jerry's as well, pouring the champagne occasionally in the living room. Uh, Nubianet says, Hola, as, of, as of now, I will be moving on my own. Um, I've always been self-contained and travel on my own, but living in an area where people value community is important to me. So, and it's not the best of, if, you know, if you are, if you, if you prefer to be solo or if you're quite introverted and self-contained, it's lovely to be in a country where that feels safe and comfortable, which I think Portugal is. And then when you want the community, it's there, courtesy of Cindy B's excellent hosting in our new venture that we're talking about here. Have I, have I missed anything, Cindy, that we, that we need to um, add about this project? Um, not, not that I can think of. I actually have a set of notes here <laughs> and I think we've covered everything that, um, that, we're amazing. Um, that I was thinking of. Yeah. We're, we're amazing, aren't we? Um, Cindy, I've sent you a couple of messages on the forum and they've disappeared. Also sent you a WhatsApp message. So hopefully there's belt and braces there and, and that's going to, going to work. Uh, and you two can be in touch because I think there's a lot of synergy there. Um, being referred maybe as well. That's another option. And I'm sure. Um, Astrid is all over this um, with how the technology is going to work. Uh, Astrid takes care of that for us. Uh, Elaine Godley, I am also solo as well. Isn't that fantastic? There's an army of solos uh, developing. Uh, there's loads of us. <laughs> Get in touch, says Louise to <laughs> Natalie Gray. Uh, I'm definitely joining Cindy's living room. Party! Party! Uh, drinks on Frank and Dom Carlos. Thank you for co-opting my generosity there, Frank. Um, Natalie, great. Are you on Facebook, YouTube? I would love to get in touch. Cindy, be on our forum. Is that the best way to get in touch with you? That's uh, the best the way. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Jerry, uh, chica, chica, bow, wow. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Um, what's what's Portuguese for Tinder? Asks Hank. Yeah, yeah you know, th these, these are other options that are available. I think you get the gist of what we're about on the new living room here. Uh, this living room, uh, in this living room, will someone start vacuuming when I'm trying to watch sport? Can you give um, <laughs> an assurance that that will not be happening, please? We don't want that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. The only All reason right. that you'll vacuum if it is if you're in trouble. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. So there will be chores for, 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 people, chores. Who, for people who overstep <laughs> the mark. Okay. So watch out for that, everybody. Uh, Hank, if you are asking where do Portuguese look for mates, everywhere. That's, again, <laughs> there, there's a sign of a civilized society. <laughs> you know, finding friendship and love in everyday life rather than on specialist yes. websites. Uh, crashing the living room party and getting the party started. Yeah, that's what Frank's going to be doing. Uh, that is the love of Portugal. Uh, it is great to chat and enjoy. Uh, are there two groups then? Oh, no, we've got a spin-off already. The, the <laughs> living room. We, we haven't even, it's like being in a band. We haven't even started yet. And and, and there's a, suddenly a splint, splinter group. No, Natalie, no. The living room and Solo 50, I'm confused, shouldn't have got, should have gotten up earlier. No, the living room we're talking about is part of our forum on expatsportugal.com. Solo 50 plus is Louise's YouTube channel, but there is a big overlap of our Venn diagrams. Oh, you dreadful teases. The living room is still being built. Yes, you can probably, <laughs> you can probably hear it behind me. Um, the community in Portugal, and specifically here, is absolutely lovely. And Cristela Branco is like going back in time, the land that time forgot, but without the plastic dinosaurs. Glad to hear it. Um, morning, Cindy, from Susan, standing in the queue, waiting to join the party. Another one is Susan there. And uh, hello from the UK, from Jane Rose Rose. Very positive show this morning, says Barbara. Of course it is. Cindy B's here, everybody. And the, the people's front of expats Portugal. So, moderator, how are you going to handle the political thing in there and religion? Oh, that's a good question. And in any... Um... In anyone's living room, sometimes those topics are off limit. So it may be go get a room. <laughs> so it's not the only, the only the only reason that phrase is, might be used. My, oh, exactly. if, if, if people are getting amorous, that would be one application. But also, if they but if they're banging on about religion and politics, they also might be asked to get a room as well. Very good tactics, MDB. I'm impressed. Uh, when I moved to the UK, people kept telling me you should go to. There is a big Portugal community there. I think the point of moving is also to learn and immerse in another culture. Well said, Margarita. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not either or, is it? I think a bit of everything is good. And that's why we're so glad that you're here, for example. Um, and yeah, 
on, on that point, I mean, we were saying it's not just solos who will be in this group. And it's not going to be just expats, is it? This might be a lovely place for Portuguese people to come. I certainly hope so. I certainly yeah. hope so that we have um, locals, you know, within the group because they can add so much. You know, they yeah. have so much to offer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right. And, and that we do love that as a hallmark of the Expats Portugal community. It is called Expats Portugal. It would appear to be aimed at expats, which it is in many ways. But look at all the Portuguese people that join us on this show in the morning. Um, you know, And, and I'm so proud of that, I have to say. Uh, Jane Rose Rose, I'm coming to Portugal. Look, you've done it, Cindy. <laughs> Um, Sandra Marks, with a great idea, Cindy B. This is fantastic, isn't it? And Elra saying, yeah, I avoid Portuguese like the plague when abroad. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to say that as a Portuguese person. Um, I, I think I, I think we can all relate to that a little bit, can't we? And so, will you stay with me, Cindy B, while we have a look at SW9 in London at the Portuguese community? Are you happy to do that? Absolutely enjoying your company so much if you if you'll stay with us uh now that we've we've talked about your segment and the living room and we will of course come back to that with a link at some point but we have some other things to talk about this morning i might have to carry beato and marvilla over uh to tomorrow um a caldash thanksgiving might be a nice idea to explore last year we had a virtual celebration uh with friends but that's not quite the same maybe something to discuss so a big old thanksgiving dinner in Kaldash. I thought you were a Brit, but I guess Brits are allowed to to, to celebrate Thanksgiving, aren't they? <laughs> All are welcome. Goodness gracious, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nobody's got the monopoly on that, have they? Not yet, That's anyway. Right. Carl, get the expert bus out for just uh, just for solos. Get Jerry driving. Well, Garvo has got the old PSV license. Uh, that will make people talk and bring them together. The Sharabang trip. How about that? Yes. Definitely something to look into, as are our socials that we're going to be organising for next year as well. Uh, definitely look up the living room, says Anna. Also arrived here on my own two weeks ago. Look at all these solos. What What is the collective noun for solos, I wonder? Uh, let's see if we can um, come up with something al along those lines today. Uh, totally avoiding Portuguese abroad, you two. Uh, Margarita and Elra there. Do I need the Jabberwocky to come to Portugal? I don't really understand that. Um, I did see the movie, but and, and it was a Terry thingy, wasn't it? Terry Gilliam thing, uh, or Monty Python spin-off. But tell us more, Jane Rose. Rose, I feel like I need to understand that, and I and I I want to to know what you mean there. Um, I need is that I need ginger possibly. She's lot she she sounds looks like she's already been drinking the ginger this morning. I think um, Pete Bleach offering to supply the turkey. <laughs> Thanksgiving. He's a turkey breeder. It's going to be free range. Well, up until the point of, you know, the obvious moment when it's not free range anymore, but uh, it will have had, had had a good life with, with Pete Bleach. Um, Carl, you're more, you're even more welcome to celebrate Independence Day. Oh, I, I see. Look, I wasn't even born then, Hank. Don't don't be start don't be starting trouble. But we, I mean, when you're here, we'll shake hands on the fourth of July and um, make, make polite references to that sad day for the British. Um, what does this mean, Solly? Is that I think maybe? Oh, a Solly is that that's possibly the collective noun for solos. A Solly. How can oh. look, there is an irony in this, Stephen? I know, I I know that sounded like a silly question, but. Um, it's got you know there's it must be a poetic and ironic uh collective noun for solos uh the vat of solos oh is that a silo of solos <laughs> possibly <laughs> the, the vax going back to your vacuum the vax the, a vacuum of solos or the vax of solos um i think that's called secession day in the uk it is it's a very sad day uh carl can stuff it well that's not for oh i see what you mean okay sorry <laughs> The turkey. The turkey, yeah. Okay. Uh, you've got to qualify these comments sometimes. I mean, context is so important, isn't it? Soloists, a solisti, a solstice, even. Um, I'm on I'm an American British, and my British partner is an honorary American. Very modern, very modern indeed, Gimblet household. Uh, one week anniversary today as a solo traveler uh, for Mac 007 as well. Amazing. So many, so many. Um, a vacuum of solos. And um uh ha, ha from uh, yeah i think um hank enjoying your comment there about secession day do i need the jab to get to portugal um i don't think you need it to get in the living room you're not going to be looking for vaccine passports 
anything like that. and no masks are necessary. Um, you need you need a test for sure. I don't think jabbing is necessary, uh, Jane Rose Rose, who's decided to come to Portugal this very morning. Uh, but you do need um, adequate testing. Um, good vibes, says Hank this morning. Absolutely right. Peter, yes, definitely need a fine turkey and free range is perfect. So there you go. So let's go to London now. And um, the, the, the Francis said, did you get my elephant sunrise? I did. And um, it got buried, as, is, as happens here. And I really don't mind anyone prompting me. Uh, about hey what about that picture i sent you so here it is look at this cindy look at those elephants oh. there an african sunrise isn't that beautiful so wow. we welcome sunrises from all over the world as we do sunsets we've got anna's sunset coming up from the algarve did somebody at the algarve i believe that's a place in portugal um somebody may have mentioned it earlier on in the show um my pictures of beato which i'll carry forward to tomorrow but look at that for a, a, a baker's oven that uh, to get a scale on that this is just down the road from me and i took this photo about three years ago when we had a tour around these well they're, they're, they're government bakehouses when they used to bake pasta and bread or make bake bread and make pasta to send to the colonies um and it was an, a remarkable trip around that place but i'll carry that forward to tomorrow because this morning we are talking about little portugal in southwest nine near stockwell near brixton in london and midlife crisis has sent us the pics to prove it that there are many Portuguese people in Southwest Nine. Look at these shop fronts Pinto's Portugal, um, a restaurant and tapas bar. So, we have a little walk around the neighborhood here Velho Portugal, Casa dos uh, Petiscos, so little snacks that you can have there at Velho, Old Portugal in um, Little Portugal here. There's a nice place to sit outside, the Estrela restaurant in Southwest Nine there. Um, and, and some people will have seen these. If you want to make a reservation, 0207-793-1051 for the Estrella there. Um, on to the Madeira Sopeja, the fish shop, a wet fish shop. Um, I wonder if that's probably where the local people get their bacalhau. Are you a fan of the bacalhau, Cindy B, since being in Portugal? I'm becoming one. <laughs> it, it wasn't uh, love at first sight. Well, um, I think you can be forgiven that. Um, anyone who's been into a Portuguese supermarket will will attest to that, that it is quite hard to start a, a love affair with such a strong um, reaction for the senses. Um, and it does need to be soaked and cooked, doesn't it? It's a sl Again, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit like a mysterious maiden. It isn't, it isn't an instant passion, is it? It's one that develops over time, I think. Very well put, Cindy. <laughs> Mashiko there, that's traditional Portuguese restaurant. How many Portuguese restaurants are there um, in Stockwell? Um, there's the Lisboa shop with its fabulous 70s graphics typography mm. there. That looks rather good. Looks like it's been there for a while. We also have the Portuguese traditional kitchen. All of this is making my mouth water, uh, quite frankly. Uh, I'm actually going out for a nice Portuguese lunch today. And even at the at the, at the doctors here, the NHS in, in the UK, the South Lambeth London practice by the sound of it. So bem-vindos novos pacientes. So new patients welcome in Portuguese there. And here's a sample menu as well. Sopa de dia is a, a feijoal. Uh, so you've got bean and cabbage soup, a, a flavour from back home there, uh, a chicken curry, uh, febras grelhadas. What's that? Febras is that goat? Uh, bifas, bifas stroganoff, very good. As a, a nice hybrid dish there from Europe. Uh, Fiseta espada, arroz de polvo, the octopus rice, and a nice traditional greeting that you'll see all over Portugal as well. Bon appetito, uh, there, and some social business going on here. The festa, uh, de vintlin, I think. I'm not sure if I've got that right. Vindim, Vindima, festa de Vindima. Uh, a nice laminated sign in someone's shop window there, the Grupo Cultura Popular, so celebrating the Portuguese culture there. And, of course, somebody on an accordion has to happen, doesn't it? And even a little bit of Brazilian there, Portuguese and South America, coming together at the Brazilian Centre in Stockwell. Midlife crisis, thank you so much for your little tour of Southwest Nine there and Little Portugal in London. Isn't that amazing? Uh, if you have these from elsewhere in the world, love to see the, some New Jersey photos as well or anywhere else, uh, Canada, South Africa. It'll be wonderful. Final few comments then. Let's go and have a look at them. Uh, Philomena is here. Uh, Philomena, are you tuning in? Are you reporting in from the Azores, I wonder? Bom dia, alegria, tudo, tudo bem? Tudo, tudo. Uh, obrigada. Uh, Philomena, would you like to answer that as well, Cindy B, in Portuguese? Bang. <laughs> 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 
good enough. Um, a groove of solos. We like that as well, don't we? Um, yes, the solos finding themselves in the groove there. Uh, Margarita Lopez, it is an amazing idea, Cindy. When are you starting? We've already started, haven't we, in spirit? You know, in the conceptual, idealistic part of this, and it's going to ground very soon, and you'll be the first to know here on the morning show. A solly sounds too much like a sully, or even a silly, uh, says Natalie Gray there. Uh, thank you, and a nice indigo heart for us from Jane Rose Rose, who might have been on the ginger already this morning. Uh, Dave Saunders uh, is being your attention. Dave Saunders, please come to the Good Morning Portugal show immediately. <laughs> Um, and Michelle is here as well. Good morning to you, Michelle. Good to see you for the second time today. Um, that's a good one, says Hank, to you. Best places to live in the mountains. Uh, in a well-insulated house would be my first response to that, with lots of layers of estrella wool on you. Um, I mean, have you have you researched this well, um, Cindy? Is, is, is that a part of Portugal or a, a, a particular kind of Portugal you're interested in in the mountains, or are you, are you on the coast for a reason? Uh, I'm on the coast for a reason. I'm a real water baby. I really, really need the beach. I love the mountains as well, but um, I need a regular beach fix. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I understand that. Uh, Jane Rose Rose, talk to Rebel Mama. I think here this morning, earlier on in the comments, uh, uh, she lives up north and they had a, a dramatic uh, thunder and lightning storm last night. Uh, she'll be able to help you, Rebel Mama, Khadija, uh, earlier on in the comments. OK, uh, Peter, we found the new over 50 dating site for Portugal. How about Cinder? Cinder, it's named <laughs> after you. Cindy. <laughs> well... Remember where you heard it first, and um, I think we can see what 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 Pete means here. We'll come back to this tomorrow. But these vast ovens do have a rather somber look to them as well, don't they? Maybe that's what we thought when they built them. They thought, "Oh dear, these look like mortuary ovens. Let's put some pretty tile work above them just to, to distract people." Yeah, they. I mean, they're huge. They are absolutely huge. And you're, you're absolutely right, Pete. And that had never occurred to me before. You and your dark sense of humour or sense of life. Funny. Uh, we have a little London in Yorkshire in Bradford, says Paul. Yeah, yeah these are out, outbreaks of um, of culture all over the world, aren't there? Uh, I grew up in Southwest Six. Well, me too. Uh, on the Fulham Palace Road there, by any chance, Jane Rose Rose, isn't it amazing? Glad you like it, Hank. Ha ha. Um, bon dia, alegria from Philomena that we read before. How's it going, Philomena? Are you back yet or are you still in the Azores? These pictures are amazing that you're sending me. The feature film, it turned, it's turned from a brief mention on the Good Morning Portugal show into a documentary. Now it's a full feature film. Uh, thank you, Philomena, uh, which is in production at the moment. Stockwell, great place to eat genuine Portuguese food. So there's um, a testimonial from a true Portuguese person. Um, a groove of solos sounds very smooth. I was thinking a mischief of solos, but I like yours much better. Mischief isn't too bad either, but a groove is good. A groove is absolutely right um, and proper there. Um, Febrush is grilled pork. Okay, thank you, Elra. Thank goodness you're here. Um, or Little Portugal. <laughs> yes, that, 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 that's a really good uh, hybrid again there. And uh, beef stroganoff is very good, um, as uh, Polish Barbara is telling us there. It's a motivation too. Um, to groove, I guess, isn't it? It's an instruction as well as a, a as well as a collective. Now, uh, hello everyone. Joao Ferreira is here. Wherever you are, if you are considering moving to Portugal, remember it's not only the expat community that that can support you, but also ten million Portuguese willing to help. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Joao. Uh, that is so kind of you. Uh, your Portuguese accent is great, Carl. Ah, with the bay, obrigado. I'm so glad to hear that from Philomena of all people as well. Philomena, I'm here, says Barbara, and a few million more around the world. Yeah, two million in the Portuguese diaspora. Second biggest. Do you know the second biggest Portuguese city, Cindy? I do not. Paris. They say lots of Portuguese people You're in Paris. Kidding. Yeah, that's a joke here in Portugal, absolutely. But there are a lot of Portuguese people in Paris. Uh, what's the idea? I missed the first bit, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Wait. you snooze, you lose. You know what I mean. <laughs> I was going to ask you to do the elevator pitch then, but there she's told you you snooze and you lose, Jane Rose. Rose. You'll have to watch it on replay. Another fantastic show in the can. Thanks tons for helping me and my day. 
or end my day on a positive note, of course. Yes, in California. Cindy, have a great day, friends. Nothing but love. Bon night uh, for Hank. There. I'm back home. She's back home after that incredible tour of the Azores. So I better get my skates on and get that sorted out. After 10 minutes, I need to go to my husband. He's in the hospital. Well, um, all the best and lots of love from us. I hope he's okay, Barbara. Um, yeah, uh, all the best to you both. Um, good morning, Carl and Cindy from Jacqueline Branco. Uh, probably a bit tired after a, a vigorous weekend of fundraising. A brace of solos or a gaggle of solos. Um, a gag, a gaggle sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Uh, Margarita, uh, Joao Ferreira to you from Margarita. Sim, compliment, completamente. Uh, devamos ser dos países mais hospitaleiros. A very hospitable country is uh, Margarita owning that alongside Joao there, but not a murder. <laughs> No, not like, not like it's the crows that are a murder of. I think yeah. actually, there's a bar down the road from me called Deutsch Korovoj. Uh, the two, the two crows bar looks really good. Very difficult on a year without drinking. Uh, thanks again from Jane Rose Rose. Yep. Any info on the Paneda Jiresh? Um, I will try to give info. Yes, uh, Jane. I think that was you asking about the mountains. Paneda Jiresh. The Jiresh area is so beautiful. Cindy, you got to go there at some point. Um, Thunder Duck, good call, not a strong choice there, I think. Uh, Rebel Mama, I think we got that figured out. Khadija is who you're looking for, Jane Rose Rose. Moore Park Road, yes, I do believe my number 74 bus used to go quite close to there. Bon dia from Ron in Bourmish Limoges, France. So, another person from France this morning. Good morning to you, Ron. How are you? Uh, we are a beautiful international community here on the Silver Coast, says Jacqueline Branco, who was a, a, a trailblazer trendsetter among the expats to settle in um, on the Silver Coast there. Thank you, Jacqueline, for all you do for everybody around there. Uh, Jane Rose, Rose having a giggle. Thank you, Carl. Not at all. Seriously, I hope all is well at your end there, Barbara. Uh, I met Cindy at our weekend event. So you went to the fundraising, did you, Cindy? I, I did indeed. I did indeed. Um, and there was, um, my gosh, there was so much stuff there. I could have done some major damage if I were already living here. Um, but there's also... Um, here in Kaldash, a, a flea market uh, that I understand. And Jacqueline, if I don't get this right, um, help me out. That happens on the first uh, weekend of the month. And it was huge, absolutely huge. There were um, at least 100 vendors there. In the park? In the park, in the park, yes. What a great environment for a flea market. <laughs> and you can go and have a coffee in that wonderful cafe, can't you? Yes. Superb. Superb. And that must have been so difficult, Cindy, to go to a flea market whilst you, you've got, what, two suitcases or something and thinking, I like that, but I mustn't. I mustn't. Exactly. Yes. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe just one little trinket to remember this special day. Or maybe maybe Jacqueline can store it for me until I come back. Uh, happy birthday to Milton Fernandes, my cousin. He's watching. Well, a parabéns, I must say, to you, um, Philomena's cousin, Milton Fernandes. Thank you for watching. Again, we are so privileged to have Portuguese people joining in on the Good Morning Portugal show. Yes. Thank each and every one of you for being here and um, indulging us uh, in this way. Uh, also, happy birthday to Druba, our dear friend Druba over there in Sintra. Uh, um, to you too. Uh, thanks, Cindy and Carl. Super idea, Cindy. The show was heaps of fun. It absolutely was. Uh, goodbye. Dojvidenia. Dojvidenia. I think I've got that right, haven't I, in Polish there. Do you, uh, can you do that any better than me, Cindy? Uh, no, I would not even attempt that. <laughs> well, do Virginia, I'm going to go with. Uh, yes. Virginia. Yeah, okay. Um, well, lots of love to you. The international language there. Lots of love to you, Barbara. I hope to see you soon and all the best, Hubby. Um, give my love to Stanislav, Barbara. Um, that's an order from Philomena. Um, Parabéns, Milton, from Fiona as well. And Louise is saying the event was great. It was great to be able to donate some stuff and declutter as well. So that worked for, for many people in different ways. 31 days away from hearing those wonderful words, welcome aboard your flight. From Shall I do that for you? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, Carl Munson, on this flight from London Gatwick to Farrah. And a special welcome to Capricorn 12 and his family. <laughs> Cabin to crosscheck. Did that sound like being on an aeroplane? Not really. Okay, Eric Jay's here. Hola, bon dia, everyone. Cloudy Lisbon. Sorry I'm late. Not at all, Eric. How's it going, my friend? Uh, Cindy, I was there too, and that's the day I sent you a WhatsApp message. Maybe the number is wrong. 
God knows what's going on. She's getting desperate there. We've got to sort that out. We'll intervene. We'll intervene. Uh, Father Benjamin Milton from Pete as well. Carl, it is the monthly open air flea market. Second Sunday each month. This week had 200 stalls. That's very good. Yes, your Polish is good too. Oh, my goodness. Um, thank you, Philomena. A really fun show. Lots of laughs. Great job, Cindy. So let's leave it there. I'll carry over me Beato Marvilla. A fascination to tomorrow. Um, Carl the hijacker. Oh, that's <laughs> no, is that what it sounded like? Me taking control of an aircraft. <laughs> it wasn't it really <laughs> mental, a, a chilling and awful thought, um, which I'm struggling to get out of my mind now. Cindy, great idea. Thank you so much for being here as a fabulous co host this morning. Um, and look forward to this idea developing. Um, and uh, popping in from time to time, uh, having a bit of fun with the groove of solos that will be the living room that you're hosting on the Expats Portugal Forum. Sounds good to me. And thank you so much for hosting today. It has been a true pleasure. <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, the pleasure's all mine and everybody else is here. And uh, we look forward to talking to you again about permaculture, your great love, permaculture. Yes. Um, let, let's finish today with a sunset. And this is from Anna. What is it that Anna says? to me about this and bear with me a moment as i go into all this lovely correspondence that i receive from you it's so kind of you to send these but i do struggle sometimes to find them and feature them and i'm that's exactly what i'm doing now to find the the the, the legend or the description that goes with this photo uh, i can do if i just calm down a bit and um put in um anna I can find out. Okay, simply amazing sundown from Villa Real to Santo Antonio with the lighthouse in the background and a cloudy sky. Uh, evening greetings from Anna. That's when it was sent. So, yeah, lovely sundown there. Thank you so much for sending that. Do send those in, folks, uh, and you can do that uh, via this number, five. Uh, sorry, 913-590-303-351 if you're outside of Portugal. Uh, that's an absolutely beautiful picture to end with. Cindy B, thanks again. We will see everybody real soon and uh, look forward to having your company again on the show. Bye for now. Ciao. <laughs>